Hey guys and welcome to my channel. For today I was thinking we could be painting some whale. Well I guess not the whole whale but just his tail and you know this is actually the reference photo I will be using and I did not find this reference photo on internet but I just made it from two reference photos. The first one is was actually that background the sea and the second one with the whale that was sticking outside of the water and I did want it to be in water you know I wanted to paint it in water so I've added to the background that you have seen and just blend those two and I think it turned out just perfect I loved it so I decided to do that one and of course I made a sketch of the whale and it is available for you for download from my website so there is a link in the description be below and if you haven't if you still haven't been to my website and don't know so go ahead find a link get to my website download the sketch for yourself and we can get started so first i've prevented the entire paper and afterwards i'm painting in the sea and as you could have seen i did not really try to cover with the masking fluid or with anything my whale because you know the whale will be practically the same colors as the sea a little bit even darker so i'm just fine with it to paint over it right now and i'm not even going to try to cover it of course if you want to cover it if it makes it easier for yourself you can be using some masking fluid to cover your whale and paint around it so i've started you know actually i will be uh, listing the all the materials i'm using down in the description box also so I don't think I will be using the colors, names of the colors in this video. I will but just say, you know, I'm using blue. This is just a beautiful, not really dark blue, but not really the light blue, somewhere in the middle. And I'm adding some green and turquoise into it and just painting in the, well, I would say those are some wavy lines, you know, to mimic the sun going, to mimic the reflection of the light going upwards from upwards and just making that you know shape of the sea looking like it is semi-circle part of the circle and while the paint is still wet I'm using just the clean water and splashing it on the paint and you know as you can see straight away there's just some gorgeous gorgeous effect getting through like glow from the sunlight and now what I'm doing with my brush is actually just stopping in also just clean water I'm not using any paint not using more gouache just uh, just using the the clean water and right now I'm picking up some paint from the whales again still wet and I'm just picking the on the bottom of its tail and on the top of his tail just picking up some paint to leave that white of the paper to make the highlights. I will be using later on also some white gouache so we will be adding some highlights but you know I also do want that part to stay pretty white so I'm just picking up the paint and if you added masking fluid and covered your well with masking fluid of course this is not actually the step you will be needing and after the paint completely dries I'm preventing it again and as you can see um, this is the paint that actually can be very pretty much easy liftable and if I would be doing straight horizon lines um, I could be just leaving the marks straight marks so I'm preventing I'm also doing that you know semicircular I don't know how to call it that motion so just in the direction of my line that old lines I did earlier so that if it goes if it flows with my water the paint if it lifts up and flows also flows in the same pattern and now with a smaller brush I added some darker lines this is a darker color and to well to make some different distinction to make some difference to make some uh, th those are not shadows but just the difference in the s in the sea you know some parts are a little bit more lit litted some are less from the rays from above and then I've picked up a white gouache and just sprinkling some white gouache and the paint is still no this is not wet this is uh, I dried it completely so I just sprinkled some white gouache and now with a smaller round brush I'm just painting in some dots some circles that will be actually those 
reflections from the from the light and I will be painting them in all sorts of sizes and here and there you can paint them as much as you want as small or as big as you want that is actually your decision you know I'm just listening to this uh, that is raining today it's er it's pretty early in the morning still and it's raining outside and you know I just love that sound of the rain you know when, when I'm inside I made myself some coffee enjoy my coffee making this video and just listening to the rain I, I slightly opened my window because you know it's it is pretty hot outside and it's not cold even with the open window and I'm just listening to the rain it's just perfect you know I'm not sure if you can hear it maybe I could just turn my mic just a second Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm not sure even if you heard it, but it just sounds so beautiful and just distracting me, you know, just listening to it with one ear and just, I love that sound, you know, that I love the sound of the rain in this part of the year, you know, <laughs> when it's hot actually in the morning, you know, well, that's just the joy of life, right? Okay, <laughs> back to the painting. I'm still painting those dots and still painting those reflections from the from the light and you know white gouache will be of course you can see it already it will be a lot lighter when it dries so we'll be adding a couple of times we will be adding those white uh, white circles and some sprinkles so this is just the first layer some of course are also lighter some of course are also darker and well, we'll be, as I said, adding them. Now I've pre-wetted my whale and I'm adding it some black. This is actually, I think, black mixed with that blue I've used and I'm just painting in the whale. And as you will be able to see on the sketch, there are some parts that I've uh, I drew the lines where the where the darker part is and where the lighter part is so you can just follow those lines and watch my painting you know as a reference to know where those lighter lines will go and where the darker line will, will go and just adding that again black and as I did prevent the paper, the paint is slightly also bleeding. That is fine. You know, I don't even want the harsh lines. I do want the paint to slightly bleed. So I advise you to, to prevent the paper where the veil is. And if you don't want those, please, you can just paint it, you know, without preventing the paper. Now I'm painting some smaller lines on tail of the whale and I'm using only the tip of my brush to paint in those lines because here and there there are some lines, there are some parts where the, well, where the color of the sea is almost as visible, almost as the tail, whale's tail is transparent, see-through. Of course not, we'll be adding a little bit more of the color later on. But, you know, that was the, actually the effect that I got from the blending option in my software. When I was adding oil to the background, I loved it, so I went with it. And, well, as I said, I'm just adding in those lines. And this time I'm using a smaller detail brush because, you know, it, it will make it easier to do it. If you don't have a smaller detail brush, you can use a liner brush. You can maybe use that round brush with a pointy tip whatever makes it feel, makes it easier for you and now as i said i'm adding in those lines here and there on the tail some parts of the whale the water is paper is still wet 
and on some parts it is dry and I'm just going I'm just going with it where it's wet I'm just letting the paint bleed where it is dry I'm adding maybe a little bit more water later on painting maybe some harsher lines you know just just going with it and just letting my my paper and paint do its thing and well I I love the effect that I'm getting you know that's just a reflection from the whale it can be either way and just have fun and you know paint in as much as lines as much as darker parts as you feel like and as much as light and lighter parts as also as you feel like again when the paint did completely dry I'm adding it a little bit of the green I used for the C on my wheel because I don't want those parts to be completely white I do want it to be a little bit darker so I'm just adding that green on the parts that I left white before the paint is still wet I'm adding a little bit of the blue also in those parts and this time here they are not painting the entire surface where I painted green just adding here and there to make some parts a little bit lighter a little bit some a little bit darker As mentioned earlier in my video I will be doing some highlights with white gouache and this time I'm just mixing in my white gouache into that green I've used because I don't want that I don't want the white gouache to be completely white I do want it to be a little bit greenish and that green I use of course it's transparent color as watercolors are and when added with some when added some white gouache it becomes a little bit more opaque of course it's not that green anymore but it's not also that much transparent so instead of just white gouache I'm adding here and there some white gouache mixed in with that green and later on again I'm adding a little bit of only white gouache and you know when that white gouache dries it won't be so bright it will be a little bit more blended with the with the color that it is on so I'm not really worried to that it will be so light but I do want some parts to be a little bit light and white so I will be adding also just only a white gouache but for now as you can see I'm just adding that mix of white gouache and that light green. I do want the top of my tail uh, to be the lightest so that is the place where I'm adding just white gouache and quite saturated because this time it will again blend into the into the background but I do want it to blend a little bit less so I'm adding it quite creamy not very watered down When the paint on my whale completely dried I'm just using pretty watered down uh, green that I used for the water for the sea and just going over my whale because I do want it to blend slightly in my sea and I'm again using those circular those curved uh, strokes just to make it blend a little bit more with the sea 
and afterwards when that dried I'm adding some more of the lights reflection some more some more of those circles with white gouache that again now appear very white but when dry they will be a lot lighter so don't be afraid you know to add a little bit more of that white gouache than you think it is necessary it this one is not from the tube it is watered down so it will be it will be drying a lot lighter and well again I'm adding a bit more also in the sea and on the top of my whale because that will help it to blend into my sea even more and I will also do some sprinklers with white gouache and with those couple of less details I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support I hope you like this video and like this painting maybe you were inspired to try it yourself don't forget you have a free sketch so use it and well if you like this video please hit the like button share it comment i always love to see your comments and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me help me grow this channel and keep doing what i love doing and without further ado i hope i'll see you next time bye